Section 5.0, Introduction, Special Segments of Triangles. This set of videos is some special supplementary videos to give you an introduction to the first four sections of Chapter 5. Well, in our lab, our activity today, we discovered five special segments or lines that exist in triangles. The first is a mid-segment. A mid-segment connects midpoint to midpoint in a triangle. So it connects midpoint of one side of the triangle to the midpoint of another side. Well, let's look at the example we have. In this first triangle, we can take the midpoint of AB and the midpoint of CB and if we connect them, then DE is the mid-segment of triangle ABC. But we have other mid-segments as well. We could connect D to F. And we have a second mid-segment. And lastly, we could connect E to F, giving us a third mid-segment. We see that we have three mid-segments in a triangle. DE, DF, and EF. And then all of these, the mid-segment connects the midpoint of one side to the midpoint of a second side. Next we'll talk about median. A median connects the midpoint to the opposite angle. So we connect the midpoint of one side of a triangle to the vertex of the opposite angle. Let's just look at our triangle. So here we can again take the midpoint of AB and instead of connecting it to another midpoint, we're going to connect it to angle C. Similarly, we can take the midpoint of CB, but instead of connecting it to a midpoint, we connect it to angle A or vertex A. And lastly, we can take the midpoint of AC and connect that to vertex B. Like mid-segments, we see that we have three medians in a triangle. Now let's talk about an angle bisector. An angle bisector passes through the vertex and bisects the angle. So it passes through the vertex of a triangle and bisects that angle of the triangle. If we're looking at angle A, the angle bisector will pass through A and cut angle BAC into two congruent angles. We can look at the angle bisector of angle B. Again, we pass through the angle and cut the angle into two congruent smaller angles. And lastly, we have the angle bisector of angle C. We see again that we have three angle bisectors in a triangle. The fourth special segment or line we'll talk about is a perpendicular bisector. A perpendicular bisector, I want you to break down the words. First, it bisects. But instead of bisecting an angle, what we're going to do is we're going to bisect a side. So we're going to go through our midpoints again. And now because it's a perpendicular bisector, this line is going to go through the midpoint and form a right angle. We have three perpendicular bisectors in a triangle. 